take place tomorrow night. It's all going to benefit Seattle Children's Hospital and tell us more about it. Here's Kim Holcomb. Kim. Hey, John. Mateo Messina's music has taken him from West Seattle to Hollywood. Millions of people have heard his work, but he says his most important audience is still right here at Seattle Children's Hospital. His fingers move effortlessly, but Mateo Messina is an unconventional maestro. He doesn't have formal training. He can't even read music. He's just always played. Well, for my entire life, I, can, I, I know one thing, whether I had a good day or a bad day, I could always go to the piano. And for years, he's come to this piano inside Seattle Children's Hospital, volunteering his time to help kids forget. We hang out and we play music and we forget about cancer for a couple hours. And to me, when there's laughing and there's smiles, it's beyond rewarding. But most of the patients don't know Mateo has other audiences too, big ones. He's an unlikely television and film composer, scoring shows like The Office no. and a little movie you may have heard of called Juno. I'm pregnant. Oh God. All we thought was we made a cool art house film. You know, we were really excited about that. We didn't know it was gonna like mushroom cloud into what it did. We didn't know the soundtrack would hit number one. But despite his success in Hollywood, Mateo keeps coming back to Seattle for his most treasured listeners. Every story is different. Every kid's different. Sometimes it's a broken arm. Sometimes it's leukemia. For the daughter of a friend, it was brain cancer. My daughter was diagnosed with a brain tumor when she was three years old and spent two years here. Chris's daughter, Jordan, did not survive her disease, but her story changed Mateo's life. And when she was feeling good, we'd go to the playroom and she would have a blast. There were always activities. She loved music and um, that's why I had a, this special place for, for me. Soon it held an equally special place for Mateo and he expanded his commitment from one piano to an entire orchestra, writing unconventional symphonies to raise money for the hospital, complete with seafare pirates, heart, Again. Alice in Chains. Like one concert, I marched the entire UW drumline down one aisle and then a Brazilian drumline down another aisle. The Symphony Guild concerts have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars so far. It's the true measure of success for an unlikely composer who went to Hollywood but never really left Seattle. It actually gives me a sense of purpose definitely beyond anything a career could give me. All right, so this year's Symphony Guild concert is actually tomorrow night at Benaroya Hall. For more information, just go to our website, king5.com, and click on Evening Magazine. John. Thank you, Kim.